right now everyone's saying, like, could you imagine if we had to get, like, some kind of tattoo to track us? Bro, I know it sounds bad, but let me tell you something. Two generations, nobody would care. Yeah. You'd be born with a tattoo, and you'd get it updated every couple of years, and people would be like, oh, make sure to scan your barcode when you're, you know, entering the building. Yeah. Like, we have, we have ID cards, passports, social security numbers. Well, we how, have all of these how things. How about, like, a, uh, what is the movie? Minority Report, where they walk into the subway, and they look at the scanner. It's like, boop, gets their eyes. The iris says, boop. Welcome, John Anderton. They figured out a way around that. It's called a cell phone. So basically, the way it works now. Now is, they know everything and everywhere you go. Dude, yep. Facebook knows it's way when you poop. Better than irises. Facebook knows when you poop. Oh yeah. Facebook. I'm not even. I don't have Facebook on my phone. It doesn't matter. Well, how oh. did they know then? Bro, Facebook's not on my phone. I never got it. So on my what? Phone. Doesn't matter. How do they have access to how my do phone? They know? Does anyone in your family have Facebook? Probably. Boom. Done. How would they know when I poop though? When you text, Please, give when me the you, logic. When you text and communicate with, I don't communicate with others. With your family? No, never. Oh. Yes, you do. So here's how. So no, Facebook has a thing called shadow profiles. <laughs> so <laughs> you have a Facebook profile. Okay. You also have a shadow profile, and Facebook accidentally released this one day, like a really? glitch on accident. Yeah. Oh. What? And people saw their shadow profiles, and it's got crazy stuff in there. They know Facebook can predict what you will eat. That sounds like Westworld more. See, now, now I would be spoiling, so I'm Bro. not going to say anything. <laughs> but, man. This is what people need to realize. Oh, man. Let's say you don't have a Facebook account. You do have a Facebook profile. Let's say, you, no, no, Tim, I've never signed up for Facebook. You still have a Facebook profile. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Yeah, profile. Right. Yeah, like with all your... Profile, with, do you? With all your information, right. Mm -hmm. So, check this out. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, whatever... They all have you saved in their phones as Adam, son, boyfriend, husband, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. When they download the Facebook app, which is by default on Android phones and can't be deleted. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, geez. So you have an Android? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, you're lucky. You might still have Facebook on it. So what happens is when they open the messenger, it says, would you like to sync your contacts? Facebook gets access to all of the contact list of everyone who knows you. Mm -hmm. And then here's what they find out. They know who your mom is. They know mm -hmm. who your, your significant other is, who your best friend is. They can tell based on the frequency of like messages and things like that. Now, if you actually use the apps, yeah. that's when they can really predict your behavior. I want someone's email at Facebook so I can email them when I'm actually pooping. <laughs> be like, you hey, Facebook, I'm pooping. Just so you know. Just so you, you have no, 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 no. You don't understand. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna draft the email and you're gonna be like, I'll sh I'll show them, and then your phone's gonna go burn, and you go, wait, what? And it's gonna be like, we know, Adam, you don't need. To email. <laughs> oh I'm not kidding. Gosh. I'm not kidding. Before Listen, I hit send. Before you yeah. hit send. So oh. I was reading this crazy thing that said ba basically, <laughs> they know where people will eat and what time they will eat, because oh, they can start predicting based on when your break time is. So here's what they know. Whoa. From the hours of 8:55 until 11:34 your phone doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Then it travels three blocks, you know, north to a shopping center for, you know, 15 minutes, comes back, and then stops moving again. Guess what? Mm. They know it's most likely your lunch break and you went to go eat. So they also know based on the things you say and what time it is, when you're going to go to eat and where you will likely eat. Man, I tell you, I, there, there was a uh, this, this test thing that they had a long time ago. I think it was called like the Spark or something. It was a website. Okay. And they created these tests where they could predict things about you, where it would be like, we can, we can prove whether or not you're like a man or a woman or whether you're white or not white. And they would ask you questions that seemingly made no sense. It would be like, which would you prefer? And then it would show you weird shapes. You'd be like, I don't know. And you just click one, right? Okay. And then at the end, they would tell you, for some reason, white men click this shape and white women click that shape. Hmm. Not gonna, we don't know why. I want to take this test. Yeah. It's it's old. It's from like like nineties, man. It's like late nineties. Yeah, like research. See stuff. how I compare. But there is a there there still is a lot of stuff like that, like Jonathan Heights research. Okay. Which does like a moral moral uh, like a moral foundations testing and stuff like that. So you can see like where you are politically. Do you believe in liberty and stuff? Is that the one I did like a couple? No, months that ago? was a political compass test. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, the main point is, Facebook can predict when you will poop hmm. based on when you eat. Who when are they you, selling that info to? Gosh, toilet paper companies? No, <laughs> no for toilet real. Toilet paper companies. Maybe. Think about it. <laughs> sure, why not? I think they're doing all right in this pandemic. Toilet right? paper. <laughs> listen, toilet paper advertiser says we want to maximize sales. Yeah. Facebook says 
we know when to show your ad for maximum effect. <laughs> Think about it. Like so on Facebook, Instagram, like, oh yeah, here, yeah. you definitely, during these times, more people poop. And then look, and you'll get an ad Instagram. and it'll be like, scratchy bum, you need double quilted, bro. Like, what are you oh, doing? Wow. And you're going to be like, dude, I do need it. <laughs> for real. Dude, oh, man. I have bought, laughing, I have bought a scary. ton of stuff off of Instagram. Toilet paper? Not toilet paper. <laughs> this lamp, this lamp. Yep. They knew that lamp, the alien Even, lamp. Wasn't the original oh, one? Did. Wasn't the original one from Instagram too? This the one, Starry no. Night one. No, no, the original, the no. Starry Night. Oh no, it wasn't. no, 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 no. Oh, that okay, that okay. was um, a friend of mine. Oh, all right. Was no. like, is that over there out. somewhere? You got that over yeah, there? Yeah, I got it over right. here. Nice, yeah, nice. you can't see it in any of the shots though, unfortunately. It's little. It's yeah, tiny. It's tiny. Teeny, tiny. Tiny. So think about what all of these other networks know. Google, Google probably knows a lot too, and. Yeah. And people don't realize, like, we talk we, we, we talk about, like, we can't let them, you, you know, chip us. Or it's like, bro, you bought your chip. You've been chipped. Yeah. You, you, you yeah, begged for an difference? upgrade. You were <sighs> like, bro, upgrade my chip. Please. <sighs> you know, it's funny. I was listening to uh, Rogan, and they were talking about this conspiracy theory. And I, I, I really do mean it. Where, they, where people think their phones are listening to them. They are, aren't they? No. Oh, they're not? It's just algorithms? Well, and it's, it, it depends, right? So there's actually some truth to this. Uh Smart devices always have the microphones on okay. because they have voice activation. Oh, right. right so right. they are listening to you. But when Facebook delivers an ad to you and you were talking about it, it's not because they were listening to you. It's because they know everything about you and can predict your behavior. Yeah. It's worse than you realize. It's way worse. That so is I, worse. I remember uh, I went to Walmart. Mm -hmm. They had a sale on TVs. And we were walking through the aisle and the TVs were in the middle of the aisle okay. like on re a discount or whatever. And it was a big TV. And I was like... That's a good idea. It was 300 bucks. And I'm like, it's a widescreen TV. And like, we don't, we don't have a TV. Like, the TV broke. I'll grab it. So we call the guy over. He puts it in the cart. When I got home, I went on Facebook, and there was an ad showing what appeared to be that exact <gasps> same TV on the stand in the middle. What? And I was like, what's going on? This is crazy. Interesting. But it wasn't because they were listening to me. Mm -hmm. It was because they knew I went to Walmart. Mm -hmm. They knew that I was, you know, a 32-year-old male. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. the demographic. They, 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 so they predicted I would probably, you know, want this TV. Mm -hmm. They were right. Wow. You know what the most annoying thing about all that is, though? No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? You ever get an advertisement for something you already bought? Yep. Like you just explained. But right. But like even worse, like you go to Amazon and you'll be like, I need some, you know, double quilted TP, bro. And then you buy it. And then also you go to a website, and you see all these ads for double quilted. You're like, dude, I already ordered it. Why are you advertising this to me? Okay. Something like toilet paper you keep getting. Yeah. But like right app. Okay. <laughs> forget toilet paper. Let's say, you, let's say you order a fancy new. I think the TV pro, summed it up right there. Pro, yeah, pro tech deck. Let's, oh, wait, say, yeah. let's say you get Look the fancy that. tech deck with the oh. fancy little, little. Are those pro? Are this they, this is the I just put the grip tape on a regular one because yeah. I don't I don't like the, yeah these are the pro ones these are like we had to build these although you said that they're not that good though no. I don't like it Let me see I that. don't no not this one specifically there's there's better ones it's pretty legit though it's wood it is but the pop is bad I mean I don't know how to even pop these things yeah nah they're good fun Art. Cool. but uh, I ordered some better ones with better grip with with bigger noses and tails anyway the point is I bought it already I don't need any more I've got it look it's a tech deck well it's not tech it's a fingerboard why are they advertising them to me. Because, I go on, because you're not happy with those. You know what's funny? Oh, you, want that's to go. What you, you said, right? You <laughs> said gonna, they don't have enough pop. You want something better? Maybe they know. They know but they're you advertising so well. the ones I don't want. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, the that's same funny. ones? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That's the point. Uh, I'll let funny. everybody in on a secret. When you're watching my videos, look at the advertisements when I'm reading news stories, uh -huh. and you'll know what we're doing. So there's been a few videos where it's like the ads are for B&H and for camera equipment and tripods. Okay. It's because... We, we were setting up the new show. Oh. Yep, yep, yeah, I took secrets. a screenshot of one of your videos one time, and I was like, look what Tim has for his ads. He has skateboards, he has skate shoes, and he had, I forget what yep. else you had, almost like beanies or something. Skate like, ramps was was on there for a while. Yep. We, we were That's doing right. segments, and I kept seeing the, the skate, skate block that you, you ordered, and yep. I'm like, you, what? Like, you know what? Weird. I was just skating that earlier. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then if, if those are listening, if you're watching, watching what the ads are, yeah. You can then like comment, be like, "How's the new the new skate box, Tim?" Yeah. Well, I mean, new is it an ad for something that you already got, or something that you're probably gonna buy? So there's a company called. Know. There's two companies. There's OC Ramps and there's Keen Ramps. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm I'm pretty sure the the mini ramp we have is Keen. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. It's a good. It's ramp. really good. It's really and so good. I just ordered another smaller one for like practice. Is like, it from Keen also? Yes. Nice. Cool. I'm pretty sure it is. I've and seen that little ramp actually. They they did a they did a giveaway like a week ago or something. Pops two up weeks on Instagram. Ago. 
Yeah, yeah really the, fun. the lockdown's jamming up delivery, but yeah. when you see the ads, it'll be an ad for the whole company. So you'll see a grind rail. Oh, okay. grind. You won't know exactly what it is that I bought. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's really funny because I was looking at the price of gold and silver once. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, all the ads were for gold and silver. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if people are going to catch this. You know, you know what I mean? I've actually thought that multiple times and not one person has, has asked us. Like, about hey, ads. about about the ads. <laughs> it feels like people are, well, thankfully, they're probably listening to what we're talking Hopefully, about. Hopefully, yeah, attention, right. <laughs> you know, not No, but I mean, in the everything. clips, you might, well, I think I think a lot of people are just <laughs> listening, too. Yeah, 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 like while they're doing stuff, that makes so, sense. So, well, actually, let me ask you guys. Good thing or bad thing? What? That the, ad, the, the computers thing? know what you want before you even know what you want. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to see ads for, I can't think, you already of, bought. think of random things that I would never buy or never even I don't know it's is it a good thing is it a bad thing it's a, just a thing I, I don't know I, 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 what, do you, what do you think I think it tends to be based on whatever you're looking at it could be good or bad I don't know same so you agree no no no, 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 no. the same yeah, thing it's kind of neutral my, my question is if you were sitting here one day and an ad popped up for like this UFO thing and you were like oh, I want that mm-hmm. would you be happy and then you bought it. Like, I bought that. I saw an ad on Instagram, and I was like, I would like to buy that. Uh, full disclosure, I do that all the time. So it's a good thing. Yeah, it works for me. I it's don't a, know. Every single time anyone has ever told... I've never bought anything off of Instagram. In fact, f- when uh, Facebook first bought Instagram, the ads were just insane. And I would report every single ad. For being trash? To the point of... I would go on Instagram to block ads and I was like, what am I even doing on Instagram? And I like kind of stopped Instagramming for a while. <laughs> but now it's to the point where anyone's like, oh yeah, I got this thing on Instagram. And I just, I, all I can think is just, there's a little like giggle, like <laughs> sucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause it's, ha- it's, half the stuff is made in China. Half of it's POSs. I mean, actually more, way more than half. There's a lot of it that I'm just like, that's just going to be trash one day. I bet yeah. this is made in China. I mean, sure, that UFO is, has, we've had a lot of fun on the show with the UFO. When that it stops spinning, everyone starts like, spin the UFO. It's oh, been yeah. great. Yeah, it's part It's part that. of the show. So for us, it, it does make sense. There you go. Spin that UFO. There we go. Spin, 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 spin. spin. See, there it is. <laughs> wow, it is really spinning now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fun, but, orbit. but I still... I still, when you first told me where you got it, I, I called you a sucker in my head. For buying oh, from Instagram? Yep. I don't I care. Like, it's well, awesome, dude. Cool thing we got. Dude, it's I levitating. It's amazing. Oh, sure. It's floating. Yeah, sure. It's cool. That's cool. Yeah, cool. It's cool, like, dude. It's like anti-gravity, man. <laughs> Great. It's very yeah. cool. It's a bad Come thing on. when they're advertising things you already bought. That's stupid. But think, <laughs> yeah. about, think about this. Like, okay, so we often project <laughs> our current technological states to the future. Y- yeah, okay. So instead of thinking about, well, we can't, we can't predict for the most part. <laughs> So we take things we already have and we exaggerate them, right? So a good example is Back to the Future. Right. He goes to the future. It's 20, what was it, 2015? Yeah. And his shoes tied themselves yeah. or whatever. And his like, clothes shrank. It's like, it's an exaggeration of what already existed. There's a really funny graphic that I remember seeing once where it, it was like in, in the year 1900, what they thought the year 2000 would be like. Okay. And it was firefighters with mechanical wings flying. <laughs> like, because awesome. that's the, the, it was a technology they had, but they were like, what if it was better? Yeah. So we can't make that same mistake. So, you know, I'm thinking about where, what's the logical conclusion of these weird AI advertisement stuff. And the assumption is we live in a world where before you even think you want it, it's delivered to you. Like you're sitting there and you're like, man, I'm hungry. Like before you even say you want it, it's like eggs, just like, you know, a, a robot comes in and drops eggs. Right, fried it's been eggs like a certain amount of time. So you're probably going to be hungry. No plate, just just Drop eggs. it right on the table. No, 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 no. Right Served up right for you. It's I'm like your chair brings you to the bathroom before you even know you have to go. And you're like, I don't have to. Oh, oh, I do. <laughs> oh, hey, look, the turtle's peeking, poking yep. his head out. And then eventually we're just like, we're just like, <laughs> we don't move. We're sitting in chairs. Like in Wally. And we're yep. like, Wally World. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Oh, that's such Scary. a great movie. But I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so because that's projecting, right? Yeah. yeah, it is. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live. Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.